Hello today, we got uh, quite a few goodies to go through today. Uh, main attractions, I would say, will be the Trails of Cold Steel from the legendary, uh, uh, the Legend of Heroes uh, series. Got two indie boxes. We'll uh, go ahead and open up the Twilight Princess that I got for Black Friday. Mm, at the end, we may take a quick look at the EAA, EA thing for anyone who's just interested in it. And to top it off, something I've had for a little bit that I've got to show off, I'm going to also go ahead and unbox the gigantic Disney Infinity 3.0. That was originally like $90 when it was new. Got for $14.99. Brand new at GameStop. So, let's start off with what I think will be probably the more main interest to you. Let this butcher and let the death commence. Now, it has a nice hard case, and I definitely like that. And it's very reflective, as you can probably tell from the light. Very nice in the front has the uh, impression kind of thing, so parts of it are raised, like the title, and some parts of the logo there. And it has very nice, colorful art on the back there. Go ahead and oh, it doesn't even slide. Oh, it, it actually opens up like a book more. I thought it was a cover piece, but it actually slides off. Let's see. Inside's just plain. We have a cardboard piece thing here. The game. And it looks like we have a very thick paperback book here. Very nice and colorful, very nice detail it looks. And it looks like it's just pretty much the usual for okay, the profiles, the information. When the bits of art background, the usual kind of things. Fan service, nan service, boob service, you know, all of that. And of course you got cat service. Cat service, gotta have cat key cats. Now what's this little cardboard thing? Uh, ah, it has a pin inside. Show off your support for either the noble or uh, reinforcement factions while supporting the emblem of our mighty empire. Remove this spatial box to make room in your collector's case for the sequel to this game. Huh. So, yeah, it's, it's the same uh, thickness. Interesting. So, they wanted you to actually put both games in the case. Very interesting. It is a very nice case. So, it says there's a little emblem pin in here. So, let's take a look at this emblem pin. Yeah, it's just a single emblem of the little horse head thing that you can see in better detail on the cardboard piece. So nothing too flashy there. Of course, made in the land of China. Well, everything is cheap and label is pennies of a dime. In the game, ooh, it feels like it may actually... Oh, good lord, I think I actually see a book in there. Ooh, I gotta open this now. so rare to wait and see books anymore and anything outside of limited editions. Bonus reversible cover, it says on the back too, I'll show off the case there. I think that's the same as the standard, I don't think there's anything particularly special there. Indeed it does, it has a nice fat booklet. Let's take a disc out and take a look at that reverse cover. Ooh, that looks very nice. Very nice indeed. Take a quick look at the book. It has a very nice uh, cover. The kind of that's just a big image on both sides. Ooh, there is a very detailed booklet in here. 
It's in color, but most of the images are pretty small. But it is in color. Is there a killer spot? We do have a killer spot, so. Okay, not too bad, not too shabby. That's pretty nice. Nice hefty art book and a pen. I think that was a pretty good deal for thirty-six dollars, brand new. Very nice. I've heard lots of good things about this game. The only real negative I heard is that the pacing can be a bit better. Because being a Japanese RPG, lots of fill, 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 fill. Okay, so let us go and take a look at the Twilight Princess next to you. I don't expect too much with this, since it should just be the game and the Amiibo, as far as I'm aware of. And, oh, they actually, um, I didn't realize the Amiibo was going to actually have a nice thing. I figured it was just going to be the plastic thing. That's actually very nice. I'm surprised they went for the time to do that. Well, I can see this probably being something uh, collectors will want uh, kept sealed up. It's pretty nice detail, too. Taking a closer look, I'd say... I'd say the worst thing about it is Minda's eye, which is probably going to be impossible for you to really see. But Minda's eye looks a little... off. No, no, it could just be me. Or just a bad paint job. Her hair looks very nice, though. I like how her hair looks. Very nice. I liked Minda. It was so sad how the freaking ending for that went. She was like the best thing in Twilight Princess. The best Zelda waifu. Haha. <laughs> and yep, just the standard uh, game inside of that. Though, uh, as far as I know, you can't actually get the game by itself uh, yet, and probably not. So, not much in now, and if for some reason you never saw the boxed version anywhere. Uh, it was $25. It just seems like a lot of these Nebo bundle things are not doing very well for Nintendo for some reason. It's a little bizarre, a little bizarre. Moving on, let's swap to one of the indie boxes. Now, uh, there was a delay in the indie boxes, and I'm not sure which one was the delayed one here, so... That is the tricky question here. So I think I'm going to go with this one. So let us get out. And yeah, code's inside, so but now we'll leave that right there. And we have a cross sheet reference for the content. So the Valhalla edition. Now, um, I find them quickly. This is basically like um, just a super boss mode type game where it has nothing but bosses after bosses, if I remember correctly. Um, it's a single player achievements, the first edition. It looks like they're getting rid of the individual box individual things. Uh, that was something in my Stanley Parable that uh, I pointed out. So, and uh, I believe they also recently announced a normal CD, uh, the, the plastic case that Stanley Parable is. And I believe there was just those. Yeah, to find the spot, the plastic. There we go. Let's take a look. The texture on the box feels very nice. So I like how to keep doing a lot of the boxes different. Has a very nice, smooth feel to it. Very nice. I keep hoping they do a book thing like they did with um, um, the, the Metroidvania one. Uh, title eludes my mind right now. Uh, dust. Dust. Illusionary Tale. Yes, yes. So let us take a look at the contents here. Let's place it here. 
There's a figurine in here. So. I'll go put that. So. Uh, not too much in here, really. So we got a keychain thing with the uh, title on that on now. And then we have a f another figurine, which does not. Yeah, they don't. They don't really pop in there very well. Let's see, can she actually hold it? It looks like her hands made to hold it, but there's barely any space. Ain't got to kill the little heel, little hand up in that, and came with an axe. You can see that her hand, um, come on, her hand clearly has a slot there, but the amount of space in between there is like non-existent, so uh, I'm afraid I will break her finger. Um, also, the cape has a much cheaper feel to it, but it has uh, wedges in it, so it kind of actually uh, fakes the uh, kind of carpet kind of thing that goes with. I don't know anything about kills, so sadly I can't comment on how accurate it looks. And then we have the nice cases. I'm liking these. Then booklet. Oh, and there's the indie sticker. Oh, I also thought that was odd. They put it inside the case, the indie box themed. Uh. We got the soundtrack and insulation uh, inst <coughs> installing disc. And uh, we get a journal manual here. Mine has a little ding now. That's a bit of a shame. Let's see. And there's the cable though, the figures on it looks at, it looks like it's pretty accurate to hole. Or him. I'm assuming it's a hole. Let's see. Yes, there's a hole. <laughs> I was pretty sure, but you never know sometimes. Don't wanna assume anyone's gender though. Uh, it's in cover. Don't look like too many big pictures. There's a few decent ones though. And then there was a uh, okay with, with the axe there, so that's definitely what they were going for. It looks pretty decent. Uh, there was one spot in her hair that's messed up. And oh, it looks like uh, there's a reversible cover. Oh, okay. I'll show that. It's a nice landscape view there. Very nice. Um, I love rever uh, reversible covers. Nothing against options. Options are always welcome. So I'm definitely loving these uh, hard cases, though. They are way better than garbage, garbage cardboard slip. Cardboard slips suck. So it's not too much in here. That's a bit of a shame, to be honest. It looks like this. There's a standardly payable one that didn't have too much in it to either. But uh, it's pretty nice either way. It's decent and the packaging was all white. And let's see. We got a little advertisement for a game there like that. We'll go ahead and give the Steam code away. For those who want a nice free copy there. Whoop. We'll go ahead and throw that in. Luckily, these uh, figurines keep coming in plastic. It makes it very easy to repackage, at least. But uh, that does look very nice. I definitely love the material on there. It's very nice, smooth, and that. Very good. Very good. So, switching from the indie box, let us go and open the Disney Infinity. This is going to be a bit messy, ain't it? You're going to have to go on the floor where you absorb the Okay, so, yeah, this was 99 
Uh, GameStop, um, when Walmart, um, you may remember in an episode of Pickups, where Walmart was massively getting away of a lot of Disney Infinity stuff. Uh, apparently, GameStop decided to respond to that with a few sales on their own, and these, which were like originally 100 or 90 or 80 or something around that, because it comes with the playset, the original, the normal starter set, it comes with the playset that has uh, the Death Star in it, and it comes with Boba Fett, which. Um, as far as I've been told, this used to be the only way to get Boba Fett, though that is not true anymore. Sadly, they have giant ugly ass stickles on the sign, so we will have to cut through those because they are the death grip gigantic ones that never want to let go, which is always a shame. I hate those. I hate those. I hate them. I hate them. Now let's see if we can get this thing out. Oh, I think I see the problem. That problem, yeah. Because I... Ah, uh, yes, I think I see the problem. There's a piece of the cardboard that is attached to that still, the top part. There. Now it should come out. No? Come on. Yeah, this slip doesn't want to come out very much. I don't want to whip the slip. Oh boy. I've seen these out of these because I found these in the dumpster before, for goodness sakes. There's no other stickers, right? Haha. <laughs> yeah, this ought to be entertaining, eh? Wow, what the hell? What kind of freaking superhuman shit is holding this in? Does it should just slide. Oh. Wow. I don't know what the freaking hell was. It is. It must be like one hell of a freaking tight ass. It's not the lip part now. Wow, what the hell? Oh my goodness, it literally won't come out. <laughs> what the hell? There's no other stickers. I found these things in the GameStop dumpster before outside of these damn things, so I know you can push the freaking thing through. It's a slip on. When the hell is. Boba Fett doesn't appear to be holding it up or anything. As far as I can tell on the edges though, isn't anything hanging up, so I don't know... I can't... Wow. I really don't want to whip the slip up. Holy fuck. I don't, I honestly don't know what the hell is holding this thing on. Because as far as I can tell, all the way around, it's just not... Ah. Wow, I don't... I don't know what the hell is keeping it in there. Push like hell on the sides and won't open. I might actually have to gut open the uh. Oh, that that would suck though. Can I just maybe. Yeah, I might have to just peel the end and we glue it. Oh, I don't really want to do this, but it won't fucking come out. So we're gonna have to be careful about this now. Have to re glue it together. Because it's not coming off. Oh, 
Luckily, it will be able to wiggle it, though. I fixed a few slip cover boxes like this before. Not because of this, though. I've had some of those old DOS games I had will the glue holding them together will let out, so. I have no idea what's holding this thing so tightly, though, unless they just made this so freaking tight. But yeah, I'll have to glue it back together. That actually sucks. Wow. Yeah, it must have been in there so fucking tight. Holy shit. I don't know what the hell... I don't know how the hell that was holding on to that so fucking tight. That's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, you just got a big plain box. Sorry about the grand delay and all that. Let's see, it looks like it opens on the top here. So let's see. What am I going to see? Okay. Wow. It's in a box and they have a giant fucking sticker over it. Really? <laughs> they must have really wanted to be safe about that, so nothing too different now. And you have the Boba Fett. Yeah, it looks like... Now, like I said, from what I understood, this used to be apparently the only way you could get Boba Fett until he eventually came out by himself. And then they got the place in here with Luke... Luke the Death Star and Leia. Which, uh... I ironically got one of these. But, uh... I didn't have the game in the standard... Uh disc of that, so I was kind of like, eh, $14. Why the hell not? The packing... I kind of like how it has Boba Fett though, in the window there. That's actually kind of nice, but uh, aside from that, it's just a uh, big bulky ass box. But hey, I guess there's worse ways I could have done it. Ugh. I'll finish messing with that. So, on to the next, the Indie Box. Our shop intimate friend here. Let's see what we got here. Metal Wrecking Robot Hacking Shooter. It's a one player game, achievements in it, fourth edition again. I kind of would have actually liked it, the numbers to stay though. It gives you an idea of how many were made. Hmm. It has a leaderboard system, not that not that, that would work for the DRM free version of that. Let's go ahead and whip it open and butcher it like a swine pig it is. Hopefully this one has a lot more goodies. Oh, oh what the? That's an actual disc? Is that a toothbrush? What? <laughs> Paper. What we got here? We actually have a disc here. Organ entries back up. Keep away from loop magnet. Loop magnet? The game thing? Or is that an actual... Let's see, number 8, floppy disk. Get insight into Wolf Shot's deepest, darkest thoughts through his personal joy entries. Included on the totally functional 3.5 floppy. So, this has journal entries on it. So, um, that, I hope there's a copy of this on the disc because, uh, might be kind of hard for some people to actually access when when they said they were going to go to discs. A lot of people apparently complain they don't actually have disc drives. So, <laughs> I bet that's going to be uh, 
quite uh, an odd thing now. I'll have to see if somebody has a post of that. If I can get the little bag with this little figure, which it actually looks pretty good. Oh yes, that looks like a pretty nice little figure. There's a little little spider mech thing now. Very nice. I don't see any particular problems with it, but I'm not familiar with the character, so. Now, is there something I need to know about this toothbrush? Top part of mine's damaged. Yeah, it's damaged right there on the top. Extraterrestrial handheld toothbrush. Space scavenging is a doy business. At least have clean teeth. You could hold in. Uh, you could hold it all day. Works in extremely space conditions. 360 degrees bushel compatible. Your toothbrush is way <laughs> tough as nails. It looks like a very generic toothbrush you would get at a dollar store or something. Uh, let's see, toothbrush number six. Wolfshot understands the importance of daily hygienics, or at least he thinks he looks super cool chewing on a toothbrush all day. Well, he chews... Yeah, the, the redneck guy here, chewing on a toothbrush. So, there's the case now, as you see. And the indie sticker is listed on there. Let's see, oh, what we got here? So you've got a code here for Toki Toki. Now, Toki Toki is, um, I'm gonna cover that. In case you're not familiar with the character there. Um, I don't know if I want those for myself or not. Bit tricky. But now, I will keep those on the side, and I will decide that. See, we get the soundtrack and the book, and uh, the game, of course. And it looks like there might be no reverse cover. It looks like pretty much building structures. It doesn't look like anything too particular special. Just, uh, ooh. Let's see, lots of black, but it looks like we got some nice big fat images, though. Big images are always nice and cool. Yeah, I definitely like these cases way better. They got some pretty decent cases here. Be honest, I'm almost half tempted to ask them uh, where they get these, or maybe for them to sell them individually. They're pretty nice multi cases. Pretty nice. Uh, the toothbrush seems like a very odd thing now. Uh, I do find this to be hilarious though. Very hilarious. I'm going to assume a loop magnet may have something to do with something in the actual game. Um, a bit of a shame that won't be able to actually access this on any of my modern computers. I'd have to either pull out one of my old ones or get a floppy drive thing to actually work. And of course there's the Indie Box theme logo there too. Get that back in here. And you may have also noticed this paper which I'm going to assume is a poster. It's a small poster. Nothing too big or bulky though. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the case here. Yeah, I don't know if I want those, but I will keep them on the back burner in case I decide that I don't. Or if I do lay them down the road. So, a little few, a lot more stuff, but not too much more. Just a little teeny little bit more, not too much. Though I do think it's a little odd that he chews on a toothbrush, but hey, I guess, um... It keeps with the character, I guess. <laughs> yep. 
And the cases are very nice for keeping all the discs all nice and all. Yeah, I definitely have to say the floppy disk is a funny little entry in that one, in my opinion. Come on, Postal, get it now. Yeah. Oh, I see the problem. Yeah, I'll have to mess with it. Get it back in place. But I don't want to delay you too long. You probably want that steam code, but I'm gonna make you wait just a little bit longer. Cause I'm a dick! <laughs> yep, you'll have to sit through the EA. Yep. So, like I showed in the the game was sealed, nothing too particularly special though. We have a hot active watch. Structure manual. Another uh, watch here. This one is for putting on your leg to keep track of your movement. The USB, the most likely connected devices to the game. And then we got, um, what is this anyway? <laughs> uh, resistance band. Increase the intensity of the bike holes, shoulder presses, and many more exercises. Oh, oh, I think this is a, a stretchy band thing for your pool. Eh. I wasn't expecting to get exercise equipment. And then cheap batteries that will most likely fucking spill acid everywhere. Because those I get so fucking sick of. <laughs> really, really sick of. So anyway, without much more delays, use your steam code for the devoted who waited. Or determinedly try to look for it. Whichever the two. And that's it, folks. Get the fuck out of here. You expect more codes? There are no more codes. All your codes all belong to us. The real truth is, all of them have always been claimed. <laughs> no, no, no. None of them have been claimed. No, it's not by me, but why you will believe? The evil dirty quail. Uh, I definitely have to say the trials of cold steel are very nice. I like this box design. This is very nice here. Definitely love that. I always love a hard cover where it just it's it sticks out from the cover. Those are very nice. Twilight Princess, nice and shiny, but nothing too mousel about it. Anyway, thank you for joining me on some of the unboxings. I hope some of you get some luck on some of the goodies. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And until next time, may you have a happy holidays.